Hello, my name is Jacob Monk. Welcome to this short video about a special subject. I want to know if Jesus was a Dane. You know, I'm a Dane. I'm very interested. Maybe I'm in family with Jesus. Is or was Jesus a Dane? Well, I have three sources I'm interested in because these three sources they indicate that Jesus actually was a Dane. He was living in Denmark. He has the genetic content of a, a Dane. He has had the same biology. Well, when you see on Hollywood films from uh, modern Hollywood films, you can see that Jesus, he was an Aryan man. Actually, he was looking like a Scandinavian quite uh, pale in his, in his uh, face and uh, quite big. So he could be a Scandinavian. And I have had three sources that has the idea that Jesus was some kind of Scandinavian. Source number one is a guy, I, prob I suppose you know, he's called Adolf Hitler. Well, now we are lucky he's dead. But in his 30s, he was a dictator in Germany and he worked together with the German Lutheran Church and they made a new translation of the German Protestant Bible to show that Jesus was not a Jew. He was not a Jew. Well, how could you prove that Jesus was not a Jew? The reason was that is what the Theologians said, that Jesus' mother, Virgin Mary, she was raped by a Roman soldier. You know, the Roman Empire had occupied Palestine at the time where Jesus was living. And the soldiers from the Roman Empire, the Roman army, they came from all European countries, especially from Germany. And Germany and Denmark was one and the same 2,000 years ago. So a man coming from Germany, he could as well be a Dane as a German. This was actually the same. So therefore, maybe Jesus Christ, he had the same genes. He was an Aryan man. You know, Hitler, he thought that the Aryans were superior human beings. They were born to rule the whole world because they were of the same family as Jesus Christ himself. And Jesus, his God, therefore Hitler saw the Scandinavians and the German Aryans as a godlike people. Well, this was case number one. Case number two is the Mormons in USA. You know, the Mormons in USA, they believe that Jesus, he went to USA. Somehow he took a boat, crossed the Atlantic Ocean, and he went to USA. And there he wrote some golden plates. And these plates, they were found by Joseph Smith, the prophet of uh, Mormonism. These plates plates were found by Joseph Smith and he wrote all the text written on the plates. It was transferred to the Mormon book called uh, Mormon Book. This is some kind of second edition of the Bible according to Mormon faith. And the Mormons, they believe that the 12th tribe of Israel. You can read in the Bible that this tribe was lost. No one knows what happened to this 12th tribe. Well, actually, according to Mormon faith, they went to Scandinavia. And therefore, the old Scandinavian god called Odin, when you read Scandinavian mythology about the god of the Vikings, he was called Odin. And according to Mormonism, Odin is identical with Jesus Christ. So that is an indication of Jesus Christ 
actually he was in Scandinavia and maybe also in Denmark. I suppose he went to Denmark before he went to Sweden and Norway because Denmark is the first place you come to when you uh, travel from Germany and north. Well, not only the 12th tribe disappeared and maybe they showed up in uh, Scandinavia, but uh, maybe Jesus himself, he followed this tribe. You know, there were quite a lot of years where we don't know what Jesus did around the time from he was 12 years old until he became 30 years old. We don't really know what he did. Maybe he went to Scandinavia and started up the Scandinavian religion. That is Mormonism. And third, we have here in Denmark a theologian. He was called Grundvi. He lived from 1783 until 1872. This man Grundvi, he was a, a theologian and a priest. Actually, he wanted to make a um, revision of the traditional Lutheran way of thinking. So he went to England. He was expelled from Denmark because he was very provocative and not in harmony with traditional Lutheran theology. So he went to England, to London, to study religion there. And he visited the... Uh, Mormon temples there and he talked to the Mormons and from there he adopted some part of the Mormon theology as a part of his own theology and his own songs but he was not only a theologist he was also a, a poet he wrote a lot of songs that are still being played and sung in the Danish churches well, Grundtvig, he had the same idea as the Mormons because he was inspired by the Mormons. He said that the Danes are somehow related to Jesus Christ himself. Maybe because Jesus Christ, he went to Scandinavia. Maybe because the 12th tribe, Jesus was maybe a member of the 12th tribe. And this 12th tribe... They went to Scandinavia and they were integrated in the population there. So we are all descendants of the 12th tribe, the tribe of Jesus Christ. Maybe he even visited Scandinavia. And Grundvi, he had the same thought as the Mormons that some of the old Viking names, they were actually metaphors or synonyms of Christian names. Maybe even Odin was the same name as Jesus Christ when you saw the way of translating language 2,000 years ago. We don't know exactly, so we have the benefit of doubt. But now I have mentioned to you three sources and they all believe that the Scandinavians and especially the Danes are related to the original tribes in Israel, the tribe of Jesus. When you come from Germany and go to Scandinavia, you have to pass by Denmark. This is the first country, the first place you will enter when you go into Scandinavia. So if Jesus, all the 12th tribe, they visited Scandinavia, for sure they have been visiting Denmark too. So maybe it is true, Jesus was a Dane, or at least the Danes are the descendants of Jesus, or the descendants of, of the tribe of Jesus. This is what Adolf Hitler believed, this is what the Mormons believe, and this is also what our Danish theology Grundtvig believed. Well, I certainly don't believe it myself. 
I believe that Jesus, he was a Palestinian, and that is all. I don't think he ever visited USA, or he, and he ever, never visited Denmark. But it's hard to prove what happened 2,000 years ago, so you can believe exactly what you want. Thank you for listening.